going on, Brilla? Hey. What up? So what are your thoughts about this truck? He finally got it fixed. He finally got it fixed. What do you mean finally? It was two or three days. By the way, the... There we got accordion right there, and we got a nice Ford. So what's going on, man? Oh yeah, you want me to tell you the thing I was gonna tell you? Yeah. Oh, I can't be on camera. You should realistically kept that on your Facebook to really be transparent about yourself. Why are you putting this on too? Transparent. You're gonna be famous, but dude, I can't even open this door anymore. What? I can't even open this door anymore. Look at this, if I try to open the door, it bends that panel now. It's good, do it again. No. Let's try it, Let's see how far it gets. No, it keeps bending the panel now, dude. It I would just... it would snap before the panel. It okay. just keeps pulling the panel. I don't want to ruin the door. Dude, I'm being a Dude, you don't have a truck in it with any issues now. What? So what's going on? What's up? What's up? Dude. How's the car? It's still up. It's are, still you, are you keeping up with maintenance? Mm -hmm. Because it's Mike, Mike didn't keep up with maintenance the last time, and his truck broke My down. Battery just died. It's, uh, it's not like, you know, like. <laughs> I don't think you'll change the battery every five thousand miles. You got to change it every five years. Do you hear this, man? What? Your battery. Oh, it, it was pretty it was pretty shortly after. You didn't change the battery in the Chevy. Oh, no. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, but it's, you know, it's pretty new. You don't know that? Yeah. Did you put it in? When I bought the truck, it was a year old. It was not even a year old. <laughs> so why would I put a new one so in? So it's getting close to five years now. New? No. Like four years. Next year will be five, probably. He thinks I'm 28 years old. So well, I can't, I can't believe that I may possibly be going without the Silverado today, and for the next maybe week. Isn't that ridiculous? Mm -hmm. Finally switching it up. So we're just about to dig in here, and then we're gonna head on out. Just got a lot of nice food to make here. <laughs> a lot of nice food to eat. Got a sub, chicken tenders and fries. What do you got over there? Anchovies. Salad and a tuna melt. Oh, a burger and fries. Nice. Hey, what's going on, man? Hey, what's going on, man? Oh, dry your hands. Here, hold on. Let me just pour up my salad dressing. Sounds good, man. It's like two or three hours from now. Alright, yeah, just text them and text me because my phone's really out and I'm packing on. Alright, dude, sounds good. Alright, man. Alright, we're running a little bit late here, but I think we might be dropping off the truck. See so yeah, how let's head out now. We gotta go to the dealer. Mike is right there, he's gonna follow me there because I might be getting a ride back. We're gonna be checking out all the parts and I'll let you guys know what's up, so let's go. Hey, check this truck out. Holy cow, man. That's sick. Motorsports, bro. That. Oh. Oh, yeah. Look at that Ram. Oh, my God. Holy cow. There we go. We got a nice truck right there, too. There we go. Mike's right behind us. He's right behind us, so he's going to give me a ride. <laughs> oh man, I am so excited for this because I'm just trying to get this done and then we're going to be doing that. We're going to be doing a new exhaust modification for the truck, so it's going to sound pretty good, this truck right here. Of course, the one's going to be coming for the Cummins, but I'm just, I, I need to focus on this right now because we got to get this truck, well, at least to a point where I'm happy for a good while. And then, of course, the builds never end. So when does the build really end, guys? Never. Oh man, 
as excited as I am for this, for this truck and everything, well, I'm gonna be having to give it up for a while now, so it's kind of sucks. Hopefully it's not that long. I'm, I'm expecting at least, you know, four or five days, but hopefully it's shorter than that. Oh my gosh, snap on truck with a lifted Ford. Oh, oh my gosh, that was nice. Oh, and of course I missed it. Dang it, there goes Mike. Snap on tools, man. Here we go, pulling into Sutliff right now. I don't know what this guy's doing. Did you see the Chevy Volt thing? Yeah. All right, so what's going on? Did you see anything you like? The Corvette, it's over there. How about the D-Maxes? I right, look at them. All right, so here's the dealio. So he said, he said I could either I could either drop it off now and go with you, or go or drop it over the weekend. But now that I think about it, that may be the better idea because then I at least have it for the weekend, I guess. Because I, uh, they said they won't get started. See, I thought they would get started immediately. They said they won't get started until Monday. I guess they're probably doing something. Yeah. So, I figured. I I thought that maybe they'd start, but I guess not. Yeah. So what do you think? What, what you should do? Yeah. Might as well just drop it off on the weekend. Yeah, and then I'd bike back or something. Whatever you want to do, it's supposed to snow tomorrow, so... So you want to get the bikes out then? We'll, 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 we'll drive here with my truck, load the bikes up in the back, and then once we get here, we'll bike home. Uh, yeah, I'll pass on that. Come on, man. Not in this weather. Summertime. It's not summertime. So after we talked over the trucks and everything, which it is going to... it's Everything's going to unfold perfectly here, guys. I just wanted to let you guys know that. February 16th is Wilt's birthday we just he just he's, he's weird sometimes all right anyway so yeah Here, hold on let me tell you this though all right so I was talking to the guy and this is what happened I said so do you have one of these trucks yourselves and he said oh well I'm actually a Ford guy oh shit, nice he says I think since 80 something he's been a Ford guy he always had four trucks or something he just said yeah I just fucking work here because the money's good dang it's probably what's true but he said they are nice trucks though don't get it wrong or whatever yeah but maybe he's just saying that he said, yeah, these things are pieces of shit. That's why I never had one. I owned one. Yo, look at that. Oh! Ugly ass right That's there. actually nice. Dude, that matte black is disgusting. <laughs> Alright, I guess thanks for the, the appraisal. I'll give you a call. Right. See ya. Driving it off the lot, brand new. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna get in here somehow. <clears throat> oh, my drink. Gosh, dang it. Here we go, man. We just figured it out. I don't, I don't even, I can't even explain how, 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 <laughs> how happy I am for this, man. I'm gonna be able to get everything the way I wanted exactly. This is such a great experience here at Sutliff, so definitely come here if you need any vehicle vehicle related vehicles if you need anything chevy related come here they'll definitely help you out but this is honestly amazing everything's going to work out here i'm going to get be get to ordering everything once i get home this is awesome man i can't i can't explain how i i'm honestly so excited for this it's going to be so amazing and yeah let's get home all right guys we're on the way home now and the plan is to drop this off during the weekend and i'm going to bring the end caps with me and then of course i'm going to have to order a ton of other stuff because you know it just never ends but yeah i want to get this truck i don't know it's it's going to look perfect that's all i can say i wouldn't even tell mike what's happening i'm just going to say that you guys aren't even going to recognize this truck it's going to look so cool but yeah this you have no idea it's going to look really good and trust me i'm going to I'm going to really do it right this time, and it's going to look good, so definitely subscribe if you guys haven't already, because trust me, this truck is going to look amazing, and I'm getting pushed around on the, holy cow, it's windy, out. I'm getting pushed around on the road, so that's the thing when I noticed whenever I lifted the truck, is that I started getting pushed around this bridge a lot, because the you're just higher up, it's a lot more to push, so, all right, we're almost there, let's go. All right, brother man, uh, all right, man, I'm going to be shipping out this box real quick at the local post office, so I'll see you in a sec, I'm going to have to go out this way. So that's gonna suck. All right, we're back here. I'm probably gonna head home, probably back and clean this out. May go to the 717 Armory, so that's gonna be cool. Bring guys along with me. And then we got this, nice. Look at that stance on the Ford. Gosh, man, looks so good. But anyways, yeah, heading out now. Gonna get a new battery, because the GoPro's about to die. Didn't use the other camera today, but yeah. 
Just gonna back and clean up real quick. So it's gonna be a fast process, but I'll probably probably update once we're back on the road. Also gotta make one return, but it's gonna be cool today, man. Look at that. Stands forward, man. Gosh. It's so sick, bro. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at that Jeep. Oh my gosh. A lot of cool, a lot of cool trucks and cars out today. So this is not clickbait. I was cleaning out some of the dirt. You see all that dirt wedged under there? And I was moving some out here and then I pulled this out. And listen.